So I'm going to use the short division method, sometimes called the bus stop division method, to divide a three-digit number, 872, by a single digit, 4. The larger number that I want to divide, 872, goes under the bus stop. And the 4 that I'm dividing by goes in front. Then I start from the left-hand end of the number, the largest place value, and I say, how many 4s could I get out of just 8? And how many 4s in 8 is 2? The answer goes over the top. I've used the whole of the 8, so there's nothing to carry. So now I can proceed into the 10s. How many 4s can I get out of 7? Well, I could get one 4 out of 7, so I can put that up at the top. But there would be a remainder of 3. I carry that remainder and put a little 3 just in front of that 2. That now makes units of 32. How many 4s in 32? Using my times tables, I know that how many 4s in 32 is 8. And there's no remainder. So the answer to my division, division sum is 218. Sometimes it won't work out exactly. So I'm going to do a different sum, which is 182 divided by and we'll see what's the difference with that. I put the larger number that needs to be divided underneath the bus stop and I put the 5 on the front. How many 5s can I get out of 1? I can't get any and at this level we encourage students to write the 0 at the top and carry that 1 across so that it's clear that the next thing I need to do is divide 5 into 18. How many 5s can I get out of 18? 3 5s are 15 and remainder 3. And then how many 5s in 32? 8. I can interpret the answer as 38, but it's important that I write the 0 on the front at this level so that I'm clear what I've done and how I'm working out the sum. Still at this stage we don't have any remainders at the end of the sum.